often think of dinosaurs as huge beasts who would have been just as impressive as they were terrifying. However, dinosaurs existed in a huge range of sizes and shapes. Today, we're focusing the spotlight on some of the smallest dinosaurs to ever exist. We'll find out who they were and explore what details we know about these little titans. We've picked 10 interesting specimens to get us started, but the world of dinosaurs was full of interesting creatures. So, if we've missed one that you want to know more about, let us know in the comments. Let's start off with a controversial move. If we're counting avian dinosaurs in our count of smallest dinosaurs, we should technically start with the bee hummingbird. All modern birds could be classified as dinosaurs, and this little creature is the smallest bird alive. In the words of Julia Clark, who worked at North Carolina State University and North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences, birds are just one lineage of dinosaurs that happen to survive to the present. This tiny bird is five centimeters long and weighs two grams. Found in Cuba, you'll find nests for these birds measuring about one inch in length and carrying eggs the size of individual coffee beans. The first extinct dinosaur on our list is Anchiornis huxleyi. With long legs and short feathered body, estimates suggest that Anchiornis huxleyi was between 100 to 700 grams in weight and 34 to 40 centimeters in length. The fossils of this dinosaur give scientists clues to its color. We think it was mainly dark gray and black, with standout white stripes on its wings and a little red patch on its head. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the name Anchiornis means near bird, whilst Huxleyi is a reference to Thomas Henry Huxley who was one of the first biologists to link birds and dinosaurs. Scientists have put together the pieces of information from a partially preserved adult fossil to learn more about the Epidexipteryx huai, another small dinosaur on our list. A lightweight at just over 160 grams, this was a small but impressive dinosaur with long, ornamental tail feathers, about three times the length of its little body. Overall, this little one comes in at about 44.5 centimeters in total length. If you'd like to know more about the Epidexipteryx huai and its weird and wonderful family tree, check out our video on Ichi, linked above. Next, let's meet the miniature dinosaur Mei Long, Mei Long is one of the most interesting fossils ever discovered. The fossil was preserved sleeping, face nestled into its wing-like arm, in a similar position to modern-day roosting birds. This would have been a duck-sized dinosaur, with the well-preserved juvenile specimen found at 53 centimeters long in the Chinese province of Liaoning. Mei Long lived about 125 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. Fast on its feet, it would have feasted on small lizards and insects on the floor of its forest habitat. Within this habitat, volcanic activity was frequent, which means many fossils from this place and time period have been preserved in volcanic ash. The likely fate of this small, sleeping juvenile Mei Long was carbon monoxide poisoning before it was covered and preserved by ash. The next extinct dinosaur on our list is the Mahakala Omnigovi, which was about 70 centimeters long. This smaller dinosaur would have lived 80 million years ago. Mahakala was a small raptor and possibly lived a semi-aquatic lifestyle, or at the very least, probably lived near water sources. Living life as a smaller dinosaur means sticking close to home, or you'll be vulnerable to threats from predators. Mahakala lived in the Dodocha Formation, which was a hot and dry desert at the time. Small numbers of oases in the area would have provided a comfortable habitat.
Next on our list is a case of long name small dinosaur. Micropachycephalosaurus translates to small, thick headed lizard, which describes this dinosaur appropriately. This dinosaur would have been similar in size to the Mahakala, coming in around 60 to 70 centimeters. This smaller dinosaur would have had to rely on agility and speed to survive the landscape of the late Cretaceous period. When this dinosaur was discovered, it was thought to be the smallest pachycephalosaur ever found. Pachycephalosaurs are famous for their tough, bony heads, hence the meaning of Micropachycephalosaurus. However, as time has gone by, the classification of this dinosaur has come under scrutiny. Only one incomplete fossil was discovered in China by Dong Ziming, and all classifications and studies have come from this specimen. Some believe Micropachycephalosaurus may have actually been a small ceratopsian, the plant-eating beaked dinosaurs with a large bony frill at the back of their heads. Eventually, Micropachycephalosaurus was classified as a ceratopsian in 2011. On the other hand, the skulls of young Pachycephalosaurus changed as they aged, so for some researchers the jury is still out on what this dinosaur actually is. As well as being one of the first feathered dinosaurs to be discovered, Microraptor Xiaoyanus was also smaller compared to its family members like the Velociraptor and Deinonychus. Covered in feathers on their arms and legs, we believe they would have grown to around 1.2 meters in length. If a man of average height took one and a half steps, it represents the size of this dinosaur. There have been discoveries of pigment cells in Microraptor remains so we can guess it was black in color, possibly looking similar to a starling or a blackbird today. Whilst most of the time we struggle to piece together the puzzle of incomplete and degraded fossils, Microraptors are a bit of a blessing. Over 300 fossils of this species have been found, suggesting it was a common dinosaur. It couldn't be a smallest dinosaur list, without talking about the Compsognathus longibes. For a long time, the turkey-sized dinosaur, at about 1 meter in length, and weighing between 0.8 and 3.5 kilograms, was the smallest dinosaur ever found. This little dinosaur was a theropod, like its gigantic ancestors the Tyrannosaurus rex, which hopped along the landscape of Germany and France 150 million years ago. The next little dinosaur on our list has a name which tells us a lot about it. Parvacursor remotus, which means small runner or slender runner. This is a significant contender for smallest dinosaur, as it may have been about 38 centimeters in length, weighing between 168 and 170 grams, which is smaller than most bags of sugar. However, it's important to note that everything we know about Parvacursor remotus comes from limited resources, namely an incomplete specimen of legs and a pelvis dating from about 72 million years ago. Finally, meet the Bambi Raptor, a small but fierce hunter that was 70 centimeters in length and 30 centimeters in height, weighing a small 2 kilograms. This dinosaur was discovered by a 14-year-old boy in 1993 who discovered the fossil in Montana on his family's ranch. As well as being a new species, the fossil is almost complete, which makes the accidental discovery pretty amazing. Researchers have dated this fossil to the late Cretaceous period. Alongside a sharp middle claw ready to take on small mammals, the Bambi raptor could run at the same speed as the modern chicken. The Bambi raptor belongs to a group of dinosaurs called Dromaeosaurs, who were flightless dinosaurs covered in feathers. It will come as no surprise that this group of dinosaurs may be closely related to modern birds. Well, like it is difficult to definitively classify the biggest dinosaur, it is also tricky to classify the smallest. Methods to get accurate measurements of size and weight can be difficult. 
especially when you're mostly dealing with incomplete fossils. And while scientists have various methods to predict the size and weight of dinosaurs and come up with educated guesses, there's always a degree of unknowing in paleontology. Sometimes fossils can deceive paleontologists. This happened with the Musaurus, whose name means mouse lizard. A name, as we see later on, is not so appropriate. In the 1970s, researchers in Argentina found very small bones, leading them to present the Musaurus to the world. However, later discoveries showed this supposedly tiny dinosaur could grow to significant sizes, with some adult specimens weighing 113 kilograms. And it is likely paleontologists were misled by baby dinosaur bones. We can't blame scientists for this mistake. Identifying smaller dinosaurs can be much harder than identifying larger species. Those of you who are dinosaur superfans may be wondering where the Oculodentavis congrae is on this list. This small fossil encased in amber was initially hailed as the smallest dinosaur fossil ever found when its discovery was announced in March 2020. Researchers described it as a hummingbird-sized avian dinosaur with small teeth. In fact, it would have been a similar size to the bee hummingbird. Focusing up close, researchers could see a large, round eye and a sharp, beak-like snout sitting in a skull 7 millimeters long. News outlets and the scientific community were fascinated by this weird-looking fossil. People were excited about the potential discovery this fossil could illuminate about the link between birds and dinosaurs. But sorry to disappoint, new research has confirmed this isn't a dinosaur or a bird. New evidence is so strong that the scientific journal, which first published about its supposed discovery of the tiniest dinosaur to ever be found, has now retracted the original paper. Nature issued a statement that they wanted to prevent inaccurate information from remaining in literature. The tiny discovery is probably a strange-looking small reptile, which existed at least 99 million years ago. Since it was first discovered, a second specimen of this species was found. With a new discovery comes more opportunities to research the specimen, thus confirming that this was no dinosaur. Paleontologist Susan Evans has pioneered the research into this specimen and has been quoted as saying, you've got this weird, big-eyed, kind of crested nose thing that certainly doesn't at first look like a lizard. It's weird, but it's a lizard. Identifying fossils is difficult to do, and this certainly isn't the first, nor will it be the last time something has been misidentified as a dinosaur. Overall, we hope this video has shown that dinosaurs don't have to be ginormous or terrifying to be interesting and significant to the world of paleontology. Which one is your favorite dinosaur from our list today? Let us know in the comments.